So, how's the Indy 5 movie doing? Not very well. It basically cratered in its second weekend. It's 55% down week to week. Oof, that's gotta hurt, which is pretty awful. Now, the world box office numbers only come in on a weekly basis. And as you can see, the movie worldwide is sitting at 256 million. And that's basically where it's going to peter out. And they know once Dead Reckoning comes out, it is game over for them. This movie is going to come to a grinding halt and it's basically done. And potentially it is going to be lucky. Lucky, I tell you, if it goes and breaks 300 million at this point. Things are so bad that they actually had to wheel out Harrison Ford and have him and beg people to watch the movie. That That's how bad things have gotten. And the entertaining thing about all this is the fact that Harrison Ford has made his career on being the consummate grumpy old man and now he has to appear nice because pretty please with sugar on top will you go see my shitty movie and it completely comes off as being disingenuous unfortunately if I play the video with audio I'll get a copyright claim because YouTube and copyrighted music don't exactly mix with videos so I'll just play it and talk over it this video is very closely reminiscent to the one that Tom Cruise did before the screening of Maverick the difference here, big difference here, is the fact that Tom Cruise actually meant it. He made the movie for the fans. Well, the people who made Indiana Jones 5 made it for a modern audience and not the actual fans themselves, which is very apparent if you watch the film. I'm not sure who they're fooling with this video, maybe themselves and possibly the Disney dick writers, but that's pretty much about it. Compared to the previous installments of Indiana Jones, nobody is watching this film. And for obvious reasons, because it's a terrible movie. And there is an awful lot of cope going around regarding that. This movie sank faster than the Titanic too soon. Disney can go and lie to themselves all they want, but they made a shit movie and nothing is going to change that. Hell, they even wheeled out the director to go and complain about the fans. We made the movie for you, but you don't like it. You just didn't get the film. This is what they always do. Blame the fans rather than themselves. This is what happens when you make a movie that is about ideology, preaching to your audience, or deconstructing a beloved character. This is not what audiences want. This is not the reason why people go and show up to the movies. People just want to go and be entertained and forget about the problems of the real world. That's why we have escapist entertainment. Meanwhile, movies like Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning is probably going to make bank at the box office. Why? Well, I think it's pretty apparent. It's not going to be preachy, it's not going to be laden with ideology, and it's not going to deconstruct its main character. It's a movie that is meant to entertain, and it's amazing what happens when Hollywood makes something that is meant to entertain. People show up and I've known some people who've seen it and they said it's pretty damn good and I'm looking forward to seeing it I would say tomorrow but by the time this video comes out it will be the day of anyway that's my take on all this what is yours leave a comment and tell me what you think is ND5 dead in the water because it sure seems like it's gonna be if you enjoyed this video I suggest you go and check out the one that's right here and I'll catch you next time